Hi, this is Danny Flexen for Seconds Out, here with Ben Davison, trainer of Tyson Fury. We're here at the Fury press conference for his big comeback fight on June the 9th. Ben, first of all, what did you make of Fury up there on the stage? He seemed as quick-witted as ever. Yeah, he's always, uh, he's very sharp. Um, I think that's just one of his many talents, to be honest. And you've obviously been working with him diligently for quite a long time now. Tell us a bit about how you guys first got together. We got together, I'll, me and Billy Joe went away for a training camp over to Marbella. Obviously everybody knows Tyson was in a bit of a bit of a low place at the time and Billy Joe invited him out as, um, you know, worrying about him as a friend really, just to help him get a bit of routine and a bit of structure. And um, I remember, I'll never forget it, the first day he got in the ring, I could, the smile on his face it genuinely made me laugh. I can think back to it now and he was laughing before he even threw a shot. You know, the, the love he's got for the sport of boxing is like no other and um, he's very, very pleased to be back and I'm, uh, I'm pleased to be a part of it. When you first started training together, was it just supposed to be to kind of shed some rust and to shed some weight or was it always going to be a long-term arrangement? Well, I didn't expect nothing of it um, at the beginning. Within a few days he was mentioning to me about, um, about the job. Obviously at the time I said to him, look, don't rush into any decisions. Um, it was big as a, big as a balloon and... Um, you know, we uh, we stayed in contact when um, the training camp come to an end, and uh, there was about a, a four or five week period that we didn't actually talk for. Um, I think he just changed his number and he got in contact with me and said, "Look, I'm ready. Uh, I'm ready to start work. When can you start?" And that was that, really. And you've obviously been working with him for a while now. What was your background previous to that? We know you're in the corner for one of Billy Joe Saunders' world title fights. What's your background generally in boxing, if you can sum it up briefly? Well, I've been boxing since I was a kid, um, but also uh, I also had other spells. I played football and a few other things. So I was always in and out of the gym. Um, but I went back to boxing, and um, at a young age, Billy Joe asked me to start working for him. You know, I was always doing little bits with him, and um, he asked me to start working for him in about 2012. Um, so since then, uh, I was working with Billy Joe. And um, one thing just led to another. Obviously, at the time, with um, at the time for that fight that you're talking about there, I'm obviously a parted ways with Jimmy only a couple of weeks before the fight, so it was sort of a last minute thing. It, Billy Joe's made no secret of it himself that he wasn't in the best of places, and we we uh, we done what needed to be done. We got through the fight, and um, we stayed working together. And then, like I say, obviously the uh, the training camp where Tyson come over, and. Uh, it all started from there with Tyson, really. You, I think we've alluded to in the past, you took a bit of stick for the Billy Joe fight. He didn't put in his best performance. Obviously, like you say, it was only on two weeks' notice, so you, you were kind of a thankless task. Do you feel this is maybe a shot at redemption, not just Tyson come back fight, but working with Tyson generally? Um, no, not really, because I never look at it like that. I mean, from the outside in, I completely understand the public you know, would expect somebody to be in the ring at 100%, but I know Billy Joe was about 10%, so... To uh, if that, to be honest, um, you know, it was it was a it was a victory in itself to to come out with a win. You know, um, it was a tough ask from the position it was in. I'm not going to go into details, but the position it was in to come out with a win was a tough ask in itself. And we done that, so um, you know, it was job done really. And Tyson's obviously achieved great success in the past with his uncle Peter Fury. He obviously ended Vladimir Klitschko's long reign at the top, won unified titles. Is there any sort of pressure on you to kind of fill his shoes and to emulate a similar level of success? No, not really. Um, you know, Tyson's the fighter. Tyson's the one that gets in there and, and has achieved those things. And, and trainers are there to help and guide. And obviously, yes, trainers play a big part, but none of the success should be mine. You know, if... If Tyson was to go on and win a million world titles, the success shouldn't be mine. He's the man who gets under lights and he's the man that does it. So all the success comes from him. Um, you know, and, and to be thanked by the fighter themselves and to be appreciated by the fighter themselves is all I ask for. What's the key in your role in terms of bringing out the best in him? What do you need to do to make that happen? Um, do you know what it is? It's, it's just a, a slight change. I, I, I can see his, his usual training routine and there's been some slight changes there which I think are, are, are give him an extra big percentage, another big chunk. Um, and also keeping him mentally stimulated is very important for Tyson, you know, I think whether you're talking about in general day or, or in sessions in training, you know, to give him tasks and, and keep him mentally stimulated plays a big, big part to bring the best out in him and um, I worked that out pretty quickly, we seem to just gel. And um, yeah, things are going very, very well.
He's always been a people person. He seems to thrive when he's surrounded by a crowd. Have you got quite a busy gym and, and do you bring a lot of sparring partners in and so on? Is it quite a busy environment for him? No, not really. Uh, we've got a small team at the minute. But for in terms of, of sparring, etc., we've got, you know, it's important because we've got a new trainer fighter relationship. So I need to see how he reacts to all different scenarios, all different styles. And um, that's the stage we're at at the minute, you know. We've had plenty, of, a wide variety of sparring, and uh, that's been an important phase that I've, uh, I've wanted to get done, and we're in the process of that at the minute, and I'm very happy.